So in this video, I want to show you a way that you can maybe get HLG working on your LG OLED. If you have a C7, 8, or 9, they do support HLG, but you might not be able to use this uh, HDMI signaling override. Uh, so you, you might think, man, if I could get that working, it would be amazing. So this is a way you can use the CRU app. And credit to this video goes to somebody on the comments that told me, hey, I got this working <laughs> on a C9. So it should work. I, I understand why it should work. So, and I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate to you because I don't have a way to turn on HDR on the TV itself. I think that the C9, if you go to select mode, you do have an HDR option. Uh, so let me show you. For example, if you get, if you, if you go into settings here on the C, on the C1, you go to select mode. There's no HDR option. Okay, I've seen some videos on the C9 that you do have an HDR option here that you can turn on. So if that's the case, or if you have a monitor in which you can just turn on HDR, this is gonna work. And I'm not saying on on a gaming monitor HLG is gonna be fantastic. I don't know how good it's gonna be, but you can try it. And let me know actually I got this working on my gaming monitor so we're gonna use this CRU app okay and we're just gonna open it so it's custom resolution utility 1.4.2 by toasty X okay just gonna click here under extension blocks uh, edit and HDR static metadata so we're going to change uh, we're going to delete basically everything but hybrid log gamma <laughs> that's what we're gonna do uh, maybe just keep traditional SDR but delete definitely delete this ST2084 which is HDR10 so we're just gonna hit OK 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 and we're gonna click here and restart 64 and that's going to restart the drivers so that's it and you you're not gonna break the TV this is only this only is affecting Windows and it's telling that that HDMI cable this is the data that we are receiving or not so you can always revert it back you're not gonna break anything so now the only thing I would need is to be able to tell the TV hey turn on HDR and the only thing I can think of here would be for example if I instead of HLG if I use this uh, you know you just step on select mode you click 1113 111 instead of HLG if I select here uh, ST2084 uh, it's still doing something HLG is still working so yeah I cannot demonstrate on this TV because that that will work because basically I don't have a way to force HDR but if you have a gaming monitor it's working on my gaming monitor I have a laptop, it's on a different desk. Uh, the visibility right now is not good. The sun is too bad against the screen and I don't have blackout curtains, so that's why I'm not showing that. But I tried and it did work. That monitor doesn't even support HLG, but because I can turn on HDR on the monitor itself, it is working. I'm not sure if it's a HLG because that monitor doesn't even support it. Uh, but the whole point of this video is there might be a way okay I am sure the LG C9 for example does support HLG because you can open uh, for example you can open those HLG videos or HLG streaming services on the C9 and it's going to work it's gonna look fantastic so the TV supports the technology the only problem is to get access to you know force it to override that the reason why that works well over SDR is because it's back backwards compatible with SDR basically so try it out let me know uh, if you can get this working uh, I think it will work uh, and definitely will work if you can turn on HDR so if you can come here to select mode and there is an HDR or if you open a game that allows you to turn on HDR it should work and it should say HLG here in the corner so let me know 
let me know if it works and if it does I think it would be fantastic because if you have a C7, C8, C9 that's gonna be it's going to be amazing, it's going to look fantastic.